Uh, we're gonna do a quick video on trailer maintenance <clears throat> this morning, real quick. I'm gonna show you all the main things, but this will this will extend the life of your trailer um, by a lot. And I've learned this because I paid way too much money to have my trailer fixed when I ignored these tips. Um, so we need a few things. White lithium grease. This stuff right here is like magic, man. Um, really important. Super cheap. Keep a couple of cans um, around, and then you're gonna need your grease gun. Um, I finally bought a big jumbo one it was only like 15 or 20 bucks more than the cheap cheap little ones um but this one i haven't had to replace where the other ones i get like one or two uses out of before i broke something on them so definitely get a good good grease gun um and then the grease inside it i'm not sure some sort of all-purpose marine uh, the last thing i want to pick up is some corrosion x it's already out here on my boat so we'll see it when i get over there um but uh it's really important um you should do it every few months six months at the most keep these things greased and lubed First thing you do when you get your boat out of the water is you hose that trailer off as good as you can, especially on salt. The, this video is mainly for salt water. Um, and then once you hose it off, uh, you know, every now and then check your levels, your grease levels. Uh, start with the tires. Um, I just did mine, so I'm not gonna do it again, but basically this little rubber nipple here pops off with a screw, screw gun or a screwdriver or a key or whatever. And then you just hook your grease gun up right to the bearing and, uh, Pull that trigger until it feels like it's spilling out a little bit and it's nice and full also with the grease gun and i noticed um i guess not all these uh jacks have this but um basically this jack has a spot for the grease gun to connect to um, so you just plug it in on that nipple pull the trigger until the grease starts spilling out again right come on get off of there but you can see the grease gun's just got a little hole at the end and it connects whenever you see one of these nipples that's where it goes. Another spot people tend to not notice. It took me a while to realize that I had to do this. Uh, was down here on my engine, on the trim and tilt, and the steering tube. Um, you see it? Yeah, there's never right there. So I filled it up yesterday, so I'm not gonna do it again. But uh, definitely want to make sure that stays nice and greased as well. No, another important item is the corrosion uh, X for your electronics. Um, one thing I've found that uh, after replacing a dozen of, of these connectors for my trailer um, I realized that I need to start just occasionally spraying some corrosion X down in there shaking it out um, it's not that complicated of a, of a task you really just take your shit spray it in on and then you can just kind of let it sit there and maybe shake some of the excess off but that's it, really. And it'll help protect that, keep it from rusting and breaking too too soon. Um, really important for your electronics. And then like I mentioned earlier, what I think is one of the most important things here that a lot of people don't do is uh, white lithium grease. This is a different brand than what I showed you up in my shed. But basically I, sh I put this on everything. Everything that's metal that's gonna touch water pretty much, um, get some of this put on it. Fairly regular, I do this more than anything. I probably do this every month or so. So I go from spraying these here anywhere there's a joint anywhere that's looking a little rusty cover it up um, this guy up and up in here spray it good find holes spray it in there winch cover it even put a little on my boat man just so it slides on there better the wheels I spray I keep my nuts sprayed I keep this guy sprayed and then one of the more Hidden ones, that's really important, is your leaf springs. These are your leaf springs here. Um, I keep these covered. As, as you can see, they're already starting to rust. And these are nearly brand new. Like four months old, I got these. And uh, they already start rusting a little bit, so I realized, you know what, I'm just gonna keep this thing greased up even more than I was. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I spray everything. With your lithium keep all your uh, things that need grease from the grease gun filled and use some corrosion x and always rinse your trailer off uh, as soon as you get home from uh, being on the water that's about it